mateys, buckle up ya landlubbers, as we take a look at one of the village people, none other than this G.I. Joe classified shipwreck himself, and this is a pretty cool looking box here, we've got this artwork with him on the front, and then over here on the side, here's another look at shipwreck, this is G.I. Joe classified number 70, here on the back, you can see this is everything that this figure comes with. Now, with that being said, guys, we're going to dive to the darkest depths of the ocean and take a look at this G.I. Joe classified shipwreck action figure. Let's dive right in, shall we? Welcome back to another Fish Bricks figure review. Today we've got none other than the G.I. Joe classified shipwreck. And as you can see, whoops, I just took his hair off. Gotta be real careful. Grabbing him by his wig ski. It will come off like that. Um, but as you can tell, he's looking really, really good. Um, a lot like the original figure of himself that old school Hasbro cartoon figure, the, the small version, but this is a bigger scale with a lot more detail. And I chose this guy as my first Halloween review video this year. And the reason for that being, he is pretty much in costume if you are trying to dress up as a sailor this Halloween season and go out and get yourself some booty. So. Anyway, this guy's looking really cool. His accessories is this rope that he's got around here. Um, he's actually got some other hair that's without the hat. It's kind of like dripping down the side, making his hair look kind of messy. Kind of gives me like Barney Fife vibes when he used to take off his hat and mess up his hair. Um, he also comes with Polly Pocket over here. His parrot Polly. There's a small hole in the wrist for the peg leg Polly to fit in there, which looks really cool got double belts double pistols comes with this um, anchor or grappling hook over here on the side the other pistol some great detailing on the tattoo work there uh, we've got the navy symbol on both arms and with that being said guys i'm gonna do a comparison break down some of the accessories and get a little bit more in detail about this awesome figure i also have been looking forward to doing this video because well it took me a while to get this figure. I finally got my hands on him, and he is absolutely one of my favorite G.I. Joe characters. Also, when I found out that he's actually a little bit modeled after Jack Nicholson, that just really made me like him that much more. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into this review. Here is a quick breakdown of this figure's accessories. We have one of the original pistols right here this looks a lot like the old school pistol that shipwreck is known for carrying and then right here we have the no hat messy hair i'm going to show what that looks like on him here in a minute um but yeah we got that wig and then we have his wig with sailor cap right here boom that rope that he had around the shoulder which comes complete with a peg hole for Polly's peg leg to fit right into. So you can have Polly sitting on his shoulder. Of course, peg leg Polly himself looking really cool. I really like the touch of the peg leg. Uh, I don't remember, I don't think the original cartoon, I don't think Polly had a peg leg, but this is just a nice, nice um, paying attention to detail. Love it when we see this kind of thing. One of the things I really like about the G.I. Joe Classified is they just really pop things with detail. That's the uh, other pistol that he comes with. And then over here we have the grappling hook or anchor, which can, as you've seen, um, hook right on that little hook on the belt. And it can also hook to the rope, making it the uh, grappling hook, which is super deep, super deep cool, if you ask me. So anyway, with that being said, guys, this is just a look at the figure's um, accessories. Let's get back to Baldy Shipwreck. Whoa, look at that bug. 
Okay, so here is a look at Barney Fife Shipwreck with the hair of the sailor cap. And here you can see Peg Lake Polly on the rope. If we come down here, you can see that Shipwreck is holding both pistols. This is fantastic. Also, I wanted to point out what's the limp and air limp, but I really want to show you guys um, the grappling hook right here. Of course, I can't, so I'm not even worried about that right now. Um, but here is a look at this really cool shark tattoo on his forearm, and you can see where that peg hole is for Polly. And then there's also an anchor right there on that arm. So, with that being said, this is pretty much the look at Shipwreck. And of course, this review wouldn't be complete without a side by side comparison to his uh, G.I. Joe original counterpart from the early 80s slash 90s. So let's take a look at that real quick. And here is that side by side comparison of the two shipwreck figures. Um, quite a difference in detail, if I do say so myself taking a closer look at that original three and quarter inch um, shipwreck. This is one that I picked up a couple of years ago. I never had him as a kid. I wasn't so lucky, but um, I did get this one fairly cheap on eBay and he's in pretty good condition considering that he's about 30 plus years old. Um, got a couple of cracked elbows and that's about it. Everything else on this figure is pretty good. You can see the colors have faded. The face is a little bit faded, um, but still not bad for being 30 plus years old. Then we go over here to the classified version and you can just tell how much more detail there is, but just really almost an exact uh, replica or duplicate of the original. Just so cool to see Hasbro doing this. Um, the more I dive into the classified line, the more I'm really liking it. But anyway, guys, this has been the review. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I do prefer, as I've said many times before, little four inch figures versus these bigger ones. But I do have a special nostalgic uh, place in my heart for these classified figures because they are just taking my um, beloved childhood and just turning it into something absolutely awesome. Anyway, guys, make sure you tune, you tune in. Uh, excuse me. Make sure you guys tune in next time. And as always, we'll see you next time. Fish Bricks 85. You know what it is.